Hello, Ben, and everyone over there at Modern Flooring Services. My name is Charles. Um, it was a pleasure speaking to you, Ben, the other day. This is the video I promised, and it has uh, the free recommendations I promised to send, showing you what we do and how we can help you uh, draw in more clients without more advertising and without um, paying for for Angie's List or Home Advisor, paying for leads that you still have to fight over. Um, you can take these recommendations and use them, give them to your website person, give them to your SEO person. Um, or if you like what you see, I have more tricks up my sleeve. And um, if you like what you see, I'm more than willing to discussing how we can partner together and help you grow uh, the business. Um, so why am I doing this, first of all? I'm doing this because a lot of business owners these days are way too busy to learn um, what, about, what I'm about to show you. And also, there's tons of information out there. I'm not the I'm not unique in this business, um, but I am unique in terms of my transparency and in terms of the whole uh, wraparound approach I take in um, in uh, in doing this. Um, a lot of companies out there will promise and guarantee certain results. Um, I wanted to first give you um, free recommendations, giving you value first. And um, hopefully, if you want to work together, we can work together. Otherwise, I just hope um, you can take these recommendations, implement them, and you'll start to see more and more traffic coming to you guys. So the three things I want to talk about are content, citations, and backlinks. All right, so content has everything to do with your front page, with all your pages, all the text there, all the pictures, the words behind the text, the pictures, everything that you can see I've uh, highlighted in blue. And by words behind the pictures, I mean what the pictures are saved as. For example, this one picture is saved as left. And this middle one is saved as middle. And um, let's see, this picture is saved as just flooring. It's important to, to optimize with Google to put you in front of um, the searches that your, that your potential clients are looking for. It's important to... Um, have about 1,000, between 1,000 and 1,500 words of authoritative uh, content, text on your front page. And by that, I mean text that shows who you are, what you do, the services you provide, um, the locations you service, etc. And within that text, literate and uh, saturated with keywords. And by keywords, I mean those phrases that people will search for you um, within Google or within any search engine. We know these days about 90% of uh, adults use Google to look for local businesses and about 70% um, of them will not leave the front page. So it's important to include those keywords so that Google knows that you're relevant to those searches and puts you up in front of them. So that's uh, keywords and that's content on your front page. Make sure one, between 1,000 and 1,500 words of text so I'll definitely increase the text here. And also um, make sure you saturate it with good relevant keywords. Um, I would research your competition, make see the keywords that they're ranking for, make sure you have the same keywords. And um, basically look, not only that, look uh, and research the kind of keywords your, comp your potential clients are searching for. Make sure you include them on your site. The second thing I want to talk about is uh, our citations. So citations have to do with the map pack. And let's go to a Google search. Um, let's say I was looking for a flooring company in Mokiteo, in Washington, not just one, a small one city. So um, first you'll see Google ads. And Google ads, I always say are hit or miss because um, a lot of people these days have ad blockers. And ad blockers, um, will block these ads so they're missing out on some of their their potential clients or potential market um, also with Google ads yes they do give quick and fast leads but they tend to get more and more expensive depending on the cost per click for example you can see here flooring this one keyword flooring installation Seattle cost per click is about twenty dollars so ten people clicking on that site whether or not those are conversions already will cost two hundred dollars so um, citations have to do with this part of the Google search here which is known as a map pack 
where you have a map and three three um, three businesses. Now, a lot of these are showing Philadelphia because I'm located in Philadelphia. So I'm gonna let's take uh, Seattle Flooring Contractors as my keyword. And you can see citations are more location based. Now, a citation is anywhere where your name, address, and phone number, exactly as they're in your Google My Business page, um, citations are where they appear in directories online, different directories online. For example, Yelp, um, Better Business Bureau, Dexnose, Yext, uh, superpages.com, uh, yellowpages.com. The more relevant and higher quality citations you're in, the higher you'll rank here in this map pack. Below the map pack comes the uh, organic search results. Now, how do you rank higher and higher here? It has a lot to do with backlinks. Backlinks are anywhere on the internet where a link, where a different web page links to your web page, direction traffic to you. So, for example, if there's a forum uh, on um, hardwood flooring installation and they like your they like what Modern Flooring Services does and they write up a, a blog or and have a link towards pointing to you, directing traffic to you, that would be considered a relevant backlink. Not all backlinks are the same because if a Pizza Hut has a link directing to you, Google sees that and knows it's not relevant, there are different niches, different keywords, and therefore will see it as kind of spammy. So it's incumbent to you to research your backlinks, research your competitors' backlinks, and make sure you have better higher quality backlinks. I have a tool called AREFs and I'm gonna drop your uh, company here into the tool and just to uh, let me quickly sign in I'm gonna pause and come back. Okay here we go. So um, this is a popular tool called AREFs and it analyzes websites and different keywords and and, and more. Um, it's kind of ex monthly it's kind of expensive but um, it does do a great job and it's a powerful tool. Now I can tell that your backlinks are, um, let me see, it's loading up. You have backlinks from 24 domains, you have about 64 backlinks. And if we go back to the search, let me grab one of your competitors here, GS Floors. Um, here we go. And we're going to look at the referring domains and the backlinks. They have about 7,600 backlinks from 50 domains. So immediately I can tell a lot of some of them must be a bit spammy. Now we can go in here and actually look at the backlinks. And this is the kind of research which your SEO website person should be doing. They should be getting in to your competition and looking at their backlinks. Um, you can see this is a directory listing. A lot of their backlinks are coming from one domain. And that's why they have so many from only uh, 50, 50 domains. Because from one domain, they're grabbing very many backlinks. Um, let's look at the referring domains here. These are the domains that are sending them links. You can see there's a DMB that's a directory. Yahoo.com is another top rated.com. Rated These are all directories here. So it's incumbent to, you know, whoever is. Uh, uh, how use install I'm sorry I'm just seeing some weird backlinks here like I said not all backlinks are the same so for example this is I guess it's a coupon it's a coupon site which is linking to them um, I'm sure actually they lost that backlink um, see a lot of law uh, blogs etc so it's important to keep up with with your backlinks and your competitors backlinks make sure you're not losing backlinks like them um, and make sure you you have more relevant and higher quality backlinks so if you improve on those if you improve on those three things backlinks content and citations you're definitely going to see a lot of traffic um, from your competitors finding you organically because you're on the front page therefore growing your business if you like what you see, um, again, my name is Charles. If you'd like to work together, um, you'll have my phone number and my email. With this email, I'm going to send you that this video is in. 
Um, if not, no harm, no foul. Take these tips, these recommendations, and give them to your website person. And uh, I hope you know you'll grow more and more in this uh, this new year in 2022. Thank you very much.